Hello viewers, from the last video, we have learned how to create a Google Tag Manager account and how to integrate Google Tag Manager with our Shopify store. In this video, we will learn how to create a Facebook pixel in our business manager and how we can install this by using Google Tag Manager on our website. To create a Facebook Pixel, we have to go to our Facebook Business Manager settings or we have to go Facebook Event Manager. So I'm going to my Facebook Business Manager. You can go to your Business Manager by typing business.facebook.com. Then switch your Facebook Business Manager account and go to Data Sources. Then you will get this option called uh, Pixels and also you will get an option called Data Sets. Okay. So I will go to now pixel section and then add after that we have to uh, give you a name uh, your pixel name and you have to paste your website link here so I'm going to copy my website link this is my store link I'm just copying and going to my Facebook business manager then paste the website link here and name this pixel like Okay, after naming your uh, pixel and pasting the uh, website link, just click on continue. Okay, then just click on set up the pixel now. Then manually add pixel go to your website. Then turn on this and then click continue. And you can cancel this okay we have successfully created our facebook pixel in our business manager but still it's not activated because we have to connect this on our website by using google tag manager or we can also install this pixel by using the code that we have copied right now so in this tutorial we will using google tag manager to install our facebook pixel on our website so we have to go to uh, google tag manager from the last video we have learned how to create the google tag manager account and connect it with our uh, shopify so right now here you can see i don't have any tags and anything here uh, set up so it's completely uh, from scratch so let's create a tags for our facebook pixel so from the text section we will create on new and tag configuration then here if you search facebook pixel here you can see no facebook pixel template found so we have to go to community template gallery to find out the facebook pixel template or also you can uh, bring this from this template section let's go to templates and search gallery then here you can search facebook pixel here you can see facebook pixel by facebook archive and it's already verified so just click on this and add to workspace add to workspace then click add okay here you can see we have successfully added tag templates as facebook pixel then go to tags again and then we will create a new tag for facebook pixel configuration just click on tag configuration then here you can see the facebook pixel template here you can see facebook pixel just click on this and name this tag like fb config sun tag or you can name it fb base code or base tag okay then here you, you have to paste our facebook pixel id so we will find our facebook pixel id on here facebook business manager here you can see this is our facebook pixel id just click on this it should copy then or you can open this from open in a event manager let's go to event manager and copy the code here is the pixel that we have just created then go to settings then just click on here pixel id and go to the every configuration tag and here you can paste your pixel id as we will use this pixel id later so we can create a variable from here 
uh, instead of pasting this here so just click on plus icon then click again plus then variable configuration then it should be the constant variable then paste the value here cause it will constant cause this pixel id won't be changed in future for this setup okay so paste this here and then you can name this variable as pixel id variable so that we can use this code multiple time in future okay so pixel id variable then click save then go back to tag them uh, tag again a bit of configuration then here we have to select our uh, event so right now i will set up the psv event for this store here you can see i don't want to change this because we have to install the base code on for page view and all pages so just scroll down and click on triggering then select all pages because it's base code that's why we will trigger this on all page okay so that's the setup just add facebook pixel id and uh, as a event just set up a page view then trigger will be all pages then click save okay after that just click submit and if we go to our shop we can check if our pixel is activated or not so to check our facebook pixel we have to add a extension art facebook pixel helper extension and then we have to add this extension so that we can check our facebook pixel is activated or not also we can check this from our event manager but this pixel helper tools will help us a lot just click and just pin it from here and go to your store and refresh the store and check from your facebook pixel helper also we can check from our google tag manager account just like preview then let me check if our google tag manager is still connected or not with our website so click connect then is view then go to your tag manager and here you can see tag fire fb configuration tag here you can see facebook pixel id base view okay so to arrive on this pixel helper okay here you can see it takes some times but uh, if you check this after two or three minutes you can check here you can see page view even added on our uh, pixel, facebook pixel helper so we have successfully configured facebook pixel base code for all page views and this is the method how you can set up facebook pixel for your website and in the upcoming video we'll learn how to set up facebook pixel from server side and also how we can set up facebook conversion api so that we can send all the page view and all the event from facebook browser side and also from server side so please stay connected and Hit the subscribe button if you are new in my channel.